know me, you have met me before. Okay, there are a few people. Raise your hand if you are a member. Okay, great. Okay, so um, you are um, here because we are in a movement to take women around the world and give them a microphone. And this is what is the why of Bob Long Club. It started with one meeting in London, in Liverpool Street, in my office, in 2017. And since then, we have been taking the world from one country to another. So we came to New York first time uh, with a big summit in 2018. And since then, of course, we had lots of uh, uh, challenges with COVID. And of course, it's, it's uh, you know, the journey that we take but you know what, when you are in a mission, you believe on what you do. It's not about, it's not about being perfect all the time, but it's about being consistent. And what we have been doing since we started is non-stop. Just going out there and reaching women and telling them how amazing they are. Because most of the time, we are amazing in everything we do, in absolutely in everything we do, but one thing that we are not amazing, and I want you to agree or disagree, is that we really do not give ourselves credits. We hide behind the scenes, we hide behind the computer, we hide at the, at the back of the office, and we do not allow ourselves to shine and to get that light that we deserve to have. Many times when women come to me and say, can you mentor me? And I know immediately, I say, no, you don't need mentoring, darling. You just need to allow yourself to put that light out there and that's it. The best way to learn, you know what it is? Teaching. The best way to heal, what it is? Help other people to heal. The best way to make money, you know what it is? Help other people make money. The best way to succeed, what it is? Help other people to succeed. And that's why in this club we invite women to give but also to appreciate what you have. Because you can't give something that you don't have. If we don't think that we have a value, we have a gift, and we are amazing, and we are wonderful, how can we stand in our power and give that power to somebody else? First of all, we have to recognize it and say thank you, God, universe, you gave me something that I really love, I really value. And second, say I take it. Because many times, even when you don't know you have it and somebody tells you you have it, you say, oh, I, I'm not sure I, I do have it. Raise your hand if you resonate with that. Many times when somebody would tell me a compliment or something that they see on me and I'm scared about it, I, what I do, I refuse it. I say, I'm not sure about it. And you know what happens when you're not sure? While you're thinking about it, then universe doesn't have time to wait forever. It comes to you and say, do you want it? And say, let me think about it. Do you want it? Let me think about it. And while you're thinking about it, that has expired. And that's why when something comes to you, please say yes. If something has driven you to be here, it is a reason why you're here and not somewhere else, my darlings. It's not by accident. So that's why it's, it's for me, please, please, please. Uh, I want to, to ask you a big favor. Uh, today is one of the, the most amazing days in, in, this, in this place, in this, in this city, because uh, I'm absolutely flattered and uh, enlightened and grateful that I have found an amazing woman that we clicked. It's like, you know, you, you know immediately. We clicked in the first minute that we met. And uh, she is Dr. Kelly Ann Catrucci. I want Woo! to give her a big, big hand. Woo! God, thank you so much. I think I am learning how to receive. Because most of the time we block good people the way. We block good things on the way. Because we think that, ooh, too good to be true. So at some point of the journey, as we practice, 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 we start allowing it and say, yes, please, bring it in, bring it in. I deserve, I deserve good people in my life. I deserve good things in my life. I deserve success in my life. And we have been suppressed for centuries as women to stay in the corner and feel like we're not good enough, we are not ready, 
who you think you are, and uh, yeah, we know where it's coming from. And today we'll talk a lot about that because we are going to talk about radical awakening. Mm -hmm. There are millions of women out there in the world that are awakening up. We have been sleeping for such a long time. And now what we do in meetings like this, we're just awakening each other up. Maybe we are at some stage where we're feeling like, ooh, am I awake? And then you feel, hey, yes, everybody's talking the same thing. I'm not the only person. I'm not crazy that I'm claiming more. I'm craving more. I'm wanting more because as women, one thing that I see everywhere in the world I go is like we really lack that ambition, that ability to desire more. The desire and the ambition, it's the, the most amazing thing that we as human beings have. So we implement that in this, in this, in this uh, club. Maybe if you are here first time, you're thinking, what is this club is about? What, what is this club providing something different that I haven't seen it anywhere else? At the end of the day, every women's organization is doing something because somehow universe is orchestrating and wants women to do more and more and more. And every, every single movement has so much significance and it's so important to embrace and to support, but at the end of the day, uh, we all bring our uniqueness. So what is unique in our club is based on, a, like, a, it's not a rocket science, but it's based in, in research. When I started this, as you know, you're in business. Yeah, raise your hand if you're in business. When you're in business, before you start this, you want to make sure what are you good at, yes? Mm -hmm. And then you also want to research what is the audience you want to work with, great? When I identified I want to work with women, I said, what is the problem that I'm going to solve? Because people may have lots of problems, so you identify an audience, and you know, okay, I know that what's the problem of my audience, but you are not here to solve all the problems, yes? yes? So, in this movement, I wanted to focus on two things. I said, I'm not going to solve all the problems that women have. Maybe, I don't know, they're suffering in poverty, or they're looking for more... I don't know, uh, finance or um, find a house or love or relationship or there are so many things that people can bring to the table when it comes to the solutions, but always it's good to have your niche and then you can break it down. So what we provide in this club is empowerment. So I'm going to break it down. Now ask me how. How do we empower women? We give women a microphone. And this is our mantra. If you want to empower a woman, give her a microphone. Now ask me how the microphone is going to empower a woman. Very simple. If you get this microphone every single time you come here, you know what is going to happen? You build your confidence to the roof. Because usually I say, you guys are very good with confidence, even with tiny little bit of competence. But we have that much competence and we are really lacking that confidence. So we can learn from you. And by the way, our doors are open for men as well. That gives them a, a hand. They are here in this room. Yes. Now, you know what happens when you build that confidence? You know what happens? Then everything good comes to you. Because you already know that you don't need to know everything. You just need to know a tiny little bit more than a woman that has just come in the room. Just, it takes one woman in the room that maybe needs to know what you know. And that's enough. We don't need to know everything. And then another thing which is very important, by coming here every month, you take this microphone. If you are a member, by the way, this is how it works. We bring you one minute because this is called networking. And many times we go to networking and we leave and we, but maybe we met one or two people. Re do you resonate with that? Yeah. Now, in the Global Women Club, that's not the case. You do not leave the room until you have met every single person. And not only met, but also you know who is that person and what do they do. How do we get to know that? We bring them on stage, one minute. We're going to, to uh, calculate the time. And in one minute, you also you'll practice. So it's a twofold. One side is the person comes and practice, practice, practice how to pitch the idea. And also by listening to other people, say, ah, I can borrow this thing from this speaker and this thing from this speaker and this thing from this member, and next time I'm going to do better. But also in the benefit of the audience, say, oh, I met this woman 10 minutes ago, but I didn't know what she does. Now I want to connect with her again. 
because now she has concentrated her message straight to the point and you know who is in the room. And you maybe you do not want to speak with everybody in the room in details, but there might be two or three people who are really important that you want to take them for a follow-up lunch or coffee or co uh, session or whatever. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. So yes. this is exactly yeah. how we empower women. First, we bring them here at the beginning they say, oh, no, 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 I, I'm not a speaker. They said, you don't need to be a speaker yet. You just come and tell us your story. If you don't have a business, tell us something. So the, the reason is not at the beginning for you to come and tell us how amazing speaker you are, but you giving us the chance to get to know you. But automatically, after a couple of times, you already have become a public speaker. And if you want more, we can travel the world together. So I'm leaving to London this evening, and then I am hosting an event there, and immediately the day after I go to Amsterdam, I'm speaking in two conferences, and I'm hosting my own conference. And after that, I'm going to uh, uh, another big uh, retreat with Deepak Chopra and in Greece, and then after that, I'm going to Stockholm, and after that, I'm going to um, Dubai. So who wants to come with me? And Dr. Kelly, please join the club, because it's called Global Woman Club. If you are in business, you are meant to go global. How do you expand? Travel, meet more people, get out of your comfort zone. So uh, uh, once you are a member of one club, you are a member of all clubs. So we, I just met a lady who came from Cyprus. She said, oh, my mama saw you're here, there is an event, and said, I, I can join. Because we have a, an amazing club in Cyprus, so you can join here. If you go to Cyprus, we had Sora, uh, she came to Cyprus and everybody said, please, Sora, stay here. Don't go back. It's better here. And we can find you a husband here. So, so <laughs> honestly, they tried to do everything to convince Sora to stay there because she found lots of friends. So if you come to London, we have Londoners. We have Anna, Anna came from London. And we have Lieva, she came from Latvia. Uh, we have the lovely Gena, she came from Washington. Uh, who else? Where are you coming from? from New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Club in Oslo, and then one week later, I received the, the testimonials and the filming. And I'm watching some ladies that they were filmed behind the scenes. And one lady is jumping, we have that video in the website. And somebody is asking her, uh, So, why did you join the Global Woman Club? And she said, I have no clue what Global Woman Club is about, but I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> and I said, Oh my god, so how can she love something that she has no clue what it is it about? So, maybe you have got the sense what I'm trying to say, it's the energy. So when you enter this room, do you feel the energy? Yes. yes. Do you feel loved? Yes. Do you feel supported? Yes. Do you feel seen? Yes. Do you feel important? Yes. And honestly, I try to make everybody important. They try to say, take the mic, tell us who you are, and say, oh, no, 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 I'm going there. So don't worry. I, I, I saw quite a few women, they didn't want to take the mic, and they brought their friends instead. That's OK. But hey, if somebody gives you a mic, just Take it. And the mic is the most important thing that women need. We have everything else. Nobody gives you the stage, my darling. They invite us to, to help, to support, to be a volunteer, and uh, uh, what else? I mean, to, 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 yeah, to do the behind the admin part. But uh, on stage, they are always guys. And they have started now to invite us a little bit, but who does the sales? Very rarely I see a woman making the sale. We are just for the decoration. We come on stage because we make the banner look a little bit more beautiful to fit the diversity part. Yeah, the, the, the. But when it comes that, hey, uh, they get 90 minutes, two hours on stage, and they're selling. Everybody goes to the back of the room, and they're doing business. And what we're doing, we're just doing the show, which is OK as a beginning, right? At the beginning, just take the opportunity of the mic. I'm telling you, if you are a coach, if you are a mentor, if you're a trainer, you know more than enough. Stop, 
stop for a, for a moment. Just give yourself six moment pause. Do not do any course, any lesson, any training, anything for six months. The only thing you do is take the mic and share what you have already learned. I'm telling you, oh my God, the magic will happen. So all you need, come here every single month, and I am telling you, you have got the best. I don't think it was me attracted her. Maybe this city needed her, because you are going to benefit from her more than me. I mean, I'm very blessed, and everybody is so excited to have got such an amazing woman uh, to lead, because you know when she came, she said, how can I contribute? Many times when I'm looking for a director, and I'm always looking for a director, they all say, what is my benefit? Which is okay, right, honestly, it's okay. But if we learn how to put things together, we can get more, and it has to benefit you first, always. But this woman came and said, how can I contribute? How can I give to this community? Because I know my vision is to empower women. I know my, my, my purpose, my mission is to touch women wherever they are and to contribute.